what it is what's up got you in the cup i know i'm looking very very crazy i'm looking very very crazy but hello you beautiful humans as you guys can see one side of my face looks like this well, the other side looks like this. There's this trend on TikTok of 2016 makeup and how I or you do your makeup now. Main difference is basically we're a lot more softer with our makeup looks now. Another big difference for me is I actually wear eyelashes now. I did my whole spring, summer edit week where I uploaded every week and I was meant to take a week off, but I actually ended up taking two weeks off. So I wanted to come back. I think I did a video, um, an Isabella, Isabel Morant review video of the lacy belt sorry guys i'm also fasting and it's just like i'm working on very little energy but ramadan mubarak everyone how is ramadan going for you let me know in the description bar below for me i'm very very tired because if you follow me on instagram you'll know that i'm training twice a day seven days a week um while fasting so i said these back rolls are coming off you man thought i was joking i was not joking these back rolls are going to vanish exit stage right left where whichever stage they want to use that also means that i'm very very tired but because i took two weeks off i wanted to come back with a more of a chit chatty type video like i said i'd already posted that video but i didn't just want to come on and just start doing my videos as normal you know i wanted to come on talk to you guys a little bit do something a bit fun i'm sorry i kept on looking at myself rather than looking at you hi hello hi but yeah do you know what let's get into it because also i am filming this on the same day that i want to edit and get this out so i don't want to talk too much but i'm talking too much let's get into the video I'm actually trying to do two pieces of content at the same time right now which brings me on to my first topic well this wasn't gonna be my, my first topic but it just made me thought of something that Jackie Aina actually said and she mentioned how she wishes that she had taken social media a lot seriouser when she was younger not younger she wishes that she had taken social media a lot more serious in terms of being more consistent a lot earlier than she did and i feel exactly the same way wait i'm doing this and i haven't even set up my second content this whole thing originated on tiktok so i'm trying to do a tiktok on top of doing actually the way i'm filming this i could crop this out for tiktok if i stay in the same position i might just do that instead of actually having to use my phone yeah i'm just gonna do that by the way instead of seeing what products i'm using i'm gonna put everything in the description Description bar below. Shaka dairy, yeah, with some dairy yarn. Shaka dairy, yeah, with some muscle dough. Has dairy yarns. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so Auntie Jackie, no, not Auntie Jackie, Sister Jackie mentioned that she had wished that she had taken social media a lot more serious uh, earlier, meaning being more consistent. And I feel exactly the same way. The reason why I say that is because when I started and when she started and when a few people started, this was like literally just for fun. This was just for fun. And I hate to be one of those old YouTube people that are like, oh my God, back in my day, you could start it with an eyeliner and bad camera quality, but you really could. Whereas now the game has changed and also now you're getting paid. So for a lot of us, it was just like, oh, this is just for fun. Whereas now people are literally becoming millionaires. Some people billionaires off of being social media, content creators, influencers, however you want to call yourself. That side of it, yes, you love what you do, but it also makes you think, wow, I should have taken this a lot more seriously, a lot more early earlier on. For me particularly, the reason why I say that is because I feel like I have had bursts of successes, quote unquote, in terms of YouTube. Like I've had this video do really well, this video do really well specifically my hair videos and i don't think i ever capitalized on that because i was literally making those videos for fun i was making those videos because i like to make that type of content at that time i know i haven't done a hair video in a while i did do i think maybe one or two last year but they didn't do that well i remember a time when i could literally for like a good three years i would do one hair video one major hair video whether it's faux locks or whatever do that once a year and i knew that video is gonna blow and that video always did blow i'll put like screenshots i didn't say this is gonna be my 2016 face this is going to be my 2021 face to be fair both of the primers that i'm using on this side i use the ysl all hours primer amazing for oily skin on this side i'm using my becca evermatte paulus primer 
Bohemian Perfection Primer. Becca is closing down and I'm so sad. God, that's another conversation in itself. This video is gonna have no direction. We're just gonna talk about little things here and there. But yeah, Becca is going out of production. I actually had a friend. If you guys saw my video about when I first was introduced to Becca, I'll put a picture here, I'll put it in the iCloud. It was my husband, boyfriend then, now husband, who one of his friends, well, one of our friends, she's now my friend as well. Oh, wait, hold on bleep that out sorry let me bleep that out sometimes when certain companies are taken over by the they don't really treat that brand that well the brand loses its identity and you could sort of see that with becca like some of their releases one day they'd be speaking about complexion another day they'd be speaking about eyeshadow like it was just all over the place but one thing about becca is that they always had good products so no matter what they were bringing out it was always good quality well i can't really say that because i didn't try all of their new releases but the majority of stuff was good quality so it was just sort of sad that yeah they're closing down if someone told me that becca was going to close down i would not have believed you but they are which is shocking recently especially because of the whole situation that's happening right now you have a lot of companies that are being bought out by other companies case in point i think the boohoo group now owns karen millen coast warehouse people have made the comment that the quality of those clothing items has not been the best and hasn't been the same as you know previous years even I've forgotten which okay yeah 2016 2020 okay the whole thing with this trend once again going off topic the whole thing with this trend is that in 2020 people wear less makeup whereas in 2016 we wore more makeup for me it's actually probably going to be the opposite but anyway I think that my eyebrows are going to be the biggest difference here but yeah it's just sort of sad because you have these big corporations that then will buy out another corporation and sometimes that corporation will lose its identity which case in point in Becca is exactly what happened what was I talking about before that okay before that I was actually talking about the whole yeah not taking social media or content creation seriously a lot more earlier there was a time where I knew this is hard because I'm trying to remember what did I used to do right I used to actually do my foundation first most of the time in 2016 and in 2016 you guys know YSL to Jaclar was my babe it still is my babe although now I mix it with all hours yeah so like back in the day I knew right I can make a hair video and that hair video it's going to do numbers whereas nowadays it's definitely not the same to be fair I feel like I haven't the past three years I haven't done that one hair video well I did do one last year and it, it didn't really do that well I'll link it in the iCards it was how to make goddess braid things have changed and it is a lot harder to grow now whereas back in the day it was a lot more easier to grow and I think Thing. I'm gonna speak for myself I think I took that for granted well actually no not took it for granted because I never thought of making YouTube a full-time job I still now wouldn't want to make it a full-time job but I do want to make it a lucrative part-time job but because then it was literally just something for fun and yeah oh my god I can get paid from it as well I didn't take it as seriously as I am taking it now but now now it can be very very tiring like back in the day like I said post your video go your subscribers are gonna see it now you have to post your video make sure you promote it on Twitter promote it on your Instagram even even on Instagram before it was post your photo go now post your photo you have to make sure you post at certain point before you post a photo make sure you're interacting or responding to comments to make sure that the Instagram algorithm boosts your picture honestly sometimes I don't even do all of this because sometimes I'm just tired I'm gonna post my picture and go because I can't be asked I'm a big believer of you can't come and kill yourself for content so honestly sometimes I can't come and kill myself for content I will post my content and go sometimes I may not feel like doing content and I am finished do it so yeah when she said that i completely understood what she was talking about because i myself feel like i wish i had taken this a lot more seriously earlier on and also now i kind of know what my niche is travel and fashion is what i really want to focus on i will definitely insert hair and skincare 100 percent because those are two things that i love this is something that people are always talking about like having a niche you need to have a niche and it's taken me so many years to find my niche but as humans we are multi-dimensional people we don't just like one thing and when it comes to my social media I want to show that I'm a multi-dimensional person I want to show that you know okay I love travel I love fashion but that's not the only thing that I love like I love hair I've always loved doing hair the only reason I fell out of love doing hair was because I started doing hair for others for those of you that may be new hair I used to have a company called beautifully crowned where I would do hair this was like way way back yeah 
14, 15, 16, 17 ish is when I really stopped. But yeah, that was my hustle and it was a good hustle. Mm. The young girls now are doing hair and I fully understand why because there is money to be made. Hair, lashes, anything to do with beauty treatments and women, there is money to be made. But I think the problem now is a lot of people are doing it for the money and the customer service side of things is going down the drain essentially. The consistency that I'm giving now, if I had given this consistency, well at the same time though, the year that I got out of university, I said it in one of my videos, I was doing YouTube consistently, like I was posting twice a week on my youtube channel and it just was not doing that well yeah it just wasn't doing that well to be honest with you so i just stopped for a bit and also life i would say the periods where i've been inconsistent with youtube content creation i was doing life because i took an extra year to graduate from university when i came out for me it was i need to find a job i like i felt like i was behind in comparison to some of my friends because they have already graduated they've got their graduation not graduation they've got their graduate jobs i'm here fresh out of uni excellence i need i need that excellence level and that is not what i was given so something had to give and what had to give was my youtube unfortunately but one thing i'll always appreciate ah that was the other thing i wanted to say another reason why i wish i was i had taken it more seriously is because of the inconsistency in my subscribe account and my viewership on my videos so like i have about twenty thousand something subscribers but then my views on a good day i can hit thousands and views but if you look at my channel a lot of my videos now that I'm being more consistent are on like 500 400,000 views to be honest it doesn't really get me down because I know this is sort of I'm paying my dues for the years that I was inconsistent I'm paying my dues for the years where I was gaining subscribers and I wasn't posting any content like I said I was doing life I was trying to make sure I was secure in my career so that's why it doesn't really get me down and also because I actually love what I do me doing this me creating content actually helps me a lot I'm concentrating so much on talking that I'm really like messing around I don't know how you guys how people do this get ready with me um I've made this difficult on myself because I'm trying to do three things at the same time speak to you guys as well as remember how I used to do my makeup and do my makeup now what I might just do is do this one side and then do the other side because trying to do both I'm already on 17 minutes and I haven't even finished my eyebrows but yeah so the discrepancy between how many subscribers I have and how how many views I get um, doesn't really get me down I would say I think in the past month though it has started to get me down because I'm coming up to one year of being consistent and although I'm seeing my subscribers go up I feel like the viewership is not going up as quickly as I would want it to it is going up I can see like I recently did my spring summer edit where I upload for a week every day and I could see that the viewership for the spring summer edit that I did recently compared to when I started doing it last year when I did my autumn winter edit is a lot more so it is happening but it's just not happening at the rate that I would want it to now you have this term of micro nano influencers which is great and you can definitely work with brands brands work with brands and get paid as a micro or nano influencers but here's the thing that I feel like people don't really speak about you may not be working with the brands that you want to work with I have a list of brands that I want to work with hold on oh my god this is actually hard to do um yeah so I have a list of brands that I really want to to work with but one thing specifically with the travel space is the beauty fashion is catching on but the beauty industry definitely understands the benefits of micro and nano influencers the travel space does not like they the people in the travel space still look at how many followers you have because they equate high followers to more beds and more hotel bookings or more bookings with their travel agency hold on i can't speak and do my eyebrows so main difference between 2016 to 2021 is i used to do my eyebrows after foundation now i do my eyebrows before foundation but yeah i'm gonna do my eyebrows really really quickly i just want to make a point that the main difference i've noticed with the way i used to do my makeup and the way that i do my makeup now specifically my eyebrows is actually all about technique and i say this all the time to you guys that i'm a creature of habit i have been using this eye pencil this is from Rommel. i'll put all the details in the description bar below i have been using this for years and look same pencil same makeup brush 
much same concealer that I'm using but it's just my technique has drastically improved you can see no blocked eyebrows hair blocked eyebrows hair but this is literally how my eyebrows used to look oh and I was talking about travel a lot of travel agencies or travel um, companies they do still look at numbers so if you are say a travel content creator you do have to look at other avenues of making money if you do want to make money people always talk about yeah as a micro influencer you can make money yes you can but you might not be working with the brands that you want to work with and one thing that I really pride myself in is that I want to work with brands that I actually want to work with and brands that actually align with me and my content and my brand or whatever do I have brands approaching me yes are they brands that I want to work with majority of the time no so that's why sometimes it looks like I don't really work with brands but that's the the main thing if the right brand does approach me also pitching I'm not that good at pitching I've come to the realization I'm not I tried to pitch once to a fashion brand and they said no and ever since then I've just been like I don't like rejection so I need to get out of that whole thing of not liking rejection but I think I'm also at a point where because this is not my full-time job I don't have to if this was my full-time job and I had to make money from content creation I would probably be a lot a lot a lot a lot not even probably I would be a lot more on it and that brings me to another point we're just jumping from point to point there has definitely been a surge in people wanting to be content creators even or influencers even though in the UK I've noticed in the UK people will talk so much about influencers or content creators however a lot of people now are trying to become content creators influencers like a lot of people when you go on instagram now every other person i see on my profile is an influencer or is someone who wants to be an influencer so as much as people speak negatively about influencers uh quite a few of you want to be influencers so the maths isn't really mathing it's harder to grow but it's not it's not impossible to grow and i think especially if you're a black woman and you want to be a content creator I've seen some people saying that it's too late I don't think it's too late because let me tell you for every five black female content creators there are about 5,000 white content creators so our market is not even half as saturated as our white counterparts the difference is they get paid a lot more I feel like I've spoken about content creation and YouTube and this was not what this entire video was meant to be about general life update um I'll be honest with you there isn't much to update you guys about when it comes to my life because as you can see I'm still in the same position that I was last year unfortunately the situation that is happening right now around the world has affected a lot of people and a lot of people's relationships mine is one of them I'm definitely not where I thought I would be two years into my marriage but I also have to consider the fact of what is going on in the world which is very annoying but at the end of the day it is what is going on in the world right now so the life update is I'm not where I want to be hopefully by the end of this summer we will be where we want to be and also trying to buy a house in this UK economy is like the most stressful thing ever like ever 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 once we're done with this whole process I'm definitely gonna do like a full-on video step by step on the situation because there's information out there but I don't think it's the information that you actually really need to know that's out there I mean it is information that you need to know but then there's more information information that you need to know that I feel like is definitely not out there and especially when you have a partner that doesn't live in the UK and isn't from the UK it just makes the process an even harder one but do you know what inshallah we're gonna get through it I also feel like actually yeah this is a bit of a life update I also feel like I'm going through I'm not mid I wouldn't say a midlife crisis I'm going through through a point where I'm like there's certain things I wanted to have done by now and I haven't done them and also where it is that I'm married you know you have to start thinking about kids and all that stuff one of the things is obviously I think if you've been watching me for years you know that I want to go back into education and I feel like I'm at the point where I need to go back to education because I'm also thinking about okay kids and all of that stuff although for one of the things that I want to do I've said I'm going to be studying while popping out babies just because it's going to take me like six year so yeah we're gonna have to be popping out babies while I'm studying and I'm all right with that going back to being a student oh 
it's a lot i think people don't really speak about it but after working making a significant amount of money and then going back to being a student you have to mentally prepare yourself because the more money you make the more bills you have because even when you're trying to live below your means which i do try to do you are still because you have your money you're able to afford afford certain things just a simple example like when i was a student i would not take taxis a lot i would you know take public transport and things but now if i don't have my car available or if i don't want to drive i will take like i will book an uber i uber it out like money is water whereas when i was a student mm -mm, sometimes i'd even walk and it's oh, i like being comfortable <laughs> And with money comes comfortability, if that is a word. Another thing about not being where I want to be right now in terms of like house situation and everything is it also affects the type of content I want to create. And that can sometimes demotivate me when I'm trying to be a lot more motivated because it's like, oh, I want to do this, I want to do that. But either I don't have the space or I don't have the time. So yeah, that can be very, very, not even that can be, it's very, very frustrating when you think about the type of content you want to create create and you're not able to create that right now it is very annoying it's very very annoying but at the same time i think you also have to remember that yes although we are in a different age you definitely can't start youtube or start instagram with a shoddy camera and just an eyeliner stick you also don't have to start it with everything picture perfect that's something that i have to remind myself that okay this may not be the level of quality of content that you want to create but it is still good quality content so you should definitely still create it or still try to work with what you have right now which i think i do do quite well well you guys let me know honestly i don't know how people do this because i am missing steps that i usually don't miss oh god no 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 I have, oh, guys I'm gonna have to do another video of like my updated makeup routine because honestly this is not how I do my makeup it is but in terms of like the blended and stuff this is very very bad and also having once again not a midlife crisis but also thinking about sorry that's past all my in the background but also thinking about what I want to do with my life I know what I want to do but there's different avenues of it. medicine is the core but everything else around that okay do i want to do cardiology orthopedics i know what i want to do but then because i am getting older and i do have to factor in my age now i have to also consider what do i want to do and how can i get there the quickest some people may argue that i don't have to factor that in but for me personally i do feel like i need to factor that in now especially with being married and wanting to have kids and i feel like there's something that a lot of people don't talk about but as women unfortunately we do have to think about these things because as well as nowadays there are a lot of advances in medicine you can freeze your eggs and all that stuff but at the end of the day we do have a biological clock and saying that shouldn't be a bad thing because it like it's just a fact fortunately or unfortunately however you want to look at it we do have a biological clock so we do have to think about these things and i think more women should speak openly about the fact that they have had to think about these things and we have seen women who have sacrificed their careers for the sake of having kids and then we have women who have sacrificed having children for the sake of kids their careers and then you do have those women who have managed to have both but from the outside looking in it does look very very difficult and it feels like there's only a select few women who are able to do that and even when you are able to do that there are some things that you have that you would have had to sacrifice just off topic for a second this um loose powder by chanel amazing absolutely amazing and has changed my life one thing i will say that i'm very very happy about is that i have a husband that is very very supportive and works on my time he works on what i want to do when i want to do it which is amazing and i'm just so honestly i think like alhamdulillah for my husband every day i don't really speak about my relationship a lot online speaking about women and pregnancy so i've been watching this program called the handmaiden's tale oh my god i love it i'm literally only four episodes in but i love it it's very 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 gruesome it's very very gruesome very not gruesome but it's just very very i don't even know what to say but it is an amazing show i used to always hear audrey from the receipts podcast speak about it and i'd never gotten into it like i would see the adverts for it and everything but never gotten into it it's not really something i would usually watch i like medieval dramas i think i've said this before like things like gladiator troy vikings those are my type of shows i love violence with a bit of romance and vi when i say violence i mean i like sword fighting and all of that stuff the handmaiden's tale is a bit different but it's just so yeah it's it's yeah like it's it's mad that's all i have to say um but i would definitely recommend it i would 100 recommend it 
and if you haven't watched it please do but just when I was thinking about like pregnancy and like babies and all that stuff that is a big big part of the show once again basically use the exact same thing except no black on hair but look at like the difference between the eyes i'm so minimal when it comes to eyeshadow right now i always have been because this is literally three colors i used to love a good winged eyeliner oh back in the day i used to blend out my concealer with my fingers to be honest i actually do still think this is the best way to do it, it just gets quite messy so i don't but i think i might actually go back to doing it or if i did use a brush it would just be the brush i used for my foundation to blend it all out minus the eyebrows the eyeshadow and the eyeliner i might bring it back just for when i'm going out how has ramadan been for you guys actually let me know for me it's actually been quite well if you follow me on my instagram you will see that i have actually been training twice a day well by the time i'm doing this video today was my last day so after i'm done i need to edit this quickly and then get to the gym i worked out this morning cardio and then today i'm doing legs in the evening but yeah so far for me it's been okay how's it been going for you guys as i get older ramadan gets easier and easier and easier and I think maybe that's because of I'm more mentally mature and mentally prepared for it and my Dean has definitely been strengthened as well as I've gotten older I was about to start my blush and then I forgot a key 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 difference between now and back in the day is I used to contour with black eyeshadow I still do when I'm going out but as you guys would have seen on this side I didn't actually contour with any um black eyeshadow but I would say when I used to contour with black eyeshadow, the main thing that would be so harsh would be my nose contour. My nose contour would be so freaking harsh when there was no need for it to be harsh. Once again, using the same products, but using different tools. So for instance, this is a really big blush brush. This is a smaller one that I actually used to use. And then I went onto that big one, but this just gives you, I feel like a lot more control and a lot softer. One thing I am happy about is that because I'm only doing one side with eyelashes, it's going to take me half the amount of time. I honestly thought that when I would do this, there wouldn't be that big of a difference apart from the eyelashes in my 2021 versus 2016 face. But there definitely is. The eyes are definitely the biggest thing. But even in terms of just how I blend, I've gotten so much better at blending. Okay, do you know what? I'm cheating a bit here because I actually used to love a matte lipstick. I might actually wipe this off just so I can give you guys the full effect. I'm going to wipe this off and find a liquid liner. Not liquid liner liquid lipstick so guys i've been talking for so long that my sd card actually ran out of memory i've actually come to the end of this video i hope that you guys have enjoyed this video this has basically been an all over the place video like we've touched on so many different things i definitely also what i didn't mention i definitely also want to start doing more chit chatty talky videos like not around travel not around fashion just sit down videos i used to do a lot of those back in the day yeah i want to bring those back because i also think those type of videos let you guys into a bit of my personality a tiny bit but yeah i hope you guys enjoy this video let me know which side you prefer everything about this side with a bit of eyeliner and you know what i'm not mad at the um liquid lipstick because after eating this would not move gloss on the other side i have to keep on reapplying that if you guys found this entertaining please do give it a thumbs up it does help with my videos on the youtube logarithm like i mentioned in this video i need to, i'm trying to get these view the viewership sorry i'm also fasting and i feel like while i've been fasting i can't talk because i'm just working on very little energy i'm also trying to get my views up, as well as subscribers so yeah if you do like this or any of my other videos do give it a thumbs up it does help i hope you guys have enjoyed this video i hope you guys have a good morning actually no before that if you like this video i think you might like this video here or possibly this video here click on either of those and let me continue to entertain you i hope you have a good morning evening afternoon whatever time you're watching this video and i'll see you all in my next video i can't like i'm so shocked at the contrast i knew there was going to be a contrast but wow we thank god for growth